Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another Ray Challenge video. We've got some news today. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos from the other content creators already, or, or you haven't seen my community post or my Discord post already, then we will be having a 10x this weekend. And it's there's also going to be a brand new event that it will involve Ancient Shards. So the 10x, first first things first, is 10x, guys. It's going to be for uh, Vrask, Doom Priest, uh, Basher, Inquisitor, Shamael, Golden Reaper, Altan, Septimus, Martyr, Battle Khazar, and Anger. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for brand new accounts, pulling during this 10x might be a good idea. The reason that I'm saying this is because they introduce another new kind of event. So the new kind of event will involve ancient shards only. So no voids, no sacred. So from only champions that can be acquired through ancient shards. So Rask, Doom Priest, um, Alten, Septimus, Martyr, and Battle Khazar. Then these champions will be uh, able to be acquired from ancient shards. So. The reason that I'm saying this event is brand new and unique is because uh, including the 10x, we're going to have a, well, it's not a buy one, get one free, but it almost feel, feels like it. So other games that I've played before usually have buy one, get one free kind of deals. This is kind of the same thing, but with legendaries, you're going to be buying your shards to pull to get one legendary. If you do get one legendary, uh, or if you just happen to have ancient shards, you pull one and you do get a legendary. Uh, then you will be getting another one at the same time. So it's going to be two legendaries at the same time. You won't need to pull any more shards. So I think this is really cool. This is a really cool kind of event. I like these surprises that Plyon brings. I think this is even better than the 150 shards guaranteed legendary that we had before with um, Countess, Countess Lix, uh, whatever she's called. So I think this is way better because the way that the Mercy system works for ancient shards is you need to pull 220 ancients to actually pick up one legendary guaranteed. So in, in this way, if you do happen to have the worst luck out of them all and you need 220 exact shards to pull it, you'll be pulling two legendary champions. So it's about one legendary champion every 110 ancient shards, which is quite cool. It's much better than the 150 for Countess Legs. I do think that it's a cool way to go. I, I honestly want to, want to see them reduce the mercy system uh, to maybe 150 instead in the future and, and also for, for Sacred to reduce it to 8 or something because I think it's a bit too much compared to the amount of legendaries that we have in the game. So that's going to be the new uh, kind of event that's coming. So the new champions, um, so, so the champions that are in the 10x uh, are extremely, extremely good. I'm honestly tempted to just pull my 14 Ancients, possibly picking up Septimus. His A2 skill that does damage uh, according to enemy max HP is just so unique. He is the only champion out there that can actually one hit a boss in the dungeons. He can do it in both, I think, the Ice Columns 20. He can do it in Spider 20. Depending on what kind of a champion you've got there to support Septimus, then he can definitely do it. I don't have Septimus. He even uses his A1 like a, you know, a machine gun and just resets the cooldowns uh, of his Holy Sword skill if the target is killed. So he gains an extra turn and he also, uh, you know, resets this. So it's it's kind of unique and kind of amazing, to be honest, uh, when you do have Septimus. And I, I wish I could get a Septimus. But with my luck, guys, on the 10x, I'll pick up everything else that I already have. So on the 10x, we also have all 10 Martyr and Bad El Khazar. So for me, Martyr is good. But at this point where I'm at in the, well, my Raid Shadow Legends journey, Martyr would honestly be a vault champion. I have no place where she can feed. I even have Valkyrie and she's strictly used for uh, PvP at the moment until maybe I make maybe uh, a brand new clan boss team. But Martyr for me, my own account would personally be a vault champion. But let's say I opened on my free brew account, then Martyr would be amazing. It's a one of the three counterattack champions in the game, increased defense and a counterattack buff on all allies for two turns. So unique and so amazing. And then uh, decrease attack and provoke on her A3. This is just great in dungeons. If you're having any issues going through dungeons, Martyr will be the one that carries you through. And her A1 also applies a decrease defense. So fantastic champion. Uh, we'll need kind of a, a few books if you want to actually book her, her decrease attack and also book her counter attack. So you'll need at least five if you get lucky. And then you need a, another six if you get really unlucky. So 11 in total. And the next champion is one that I'm really, I really wish I could just pull it on my free to play account. I really wish everybody gets it tomorrow if they are pulling Badel Khazar. Um, he's one of the OGs, okay? OGs in this game. 10x for him means 
you can open up your your account to so many boss possibilities i'm talking uh, all dungeons 20 i'm talking clan boss without a lifestyle set i'm talking dungeon much faster time in the dungeons for your uh, clearing times not just going through to 20 just better clearing times even some arena teams can use battle kazar um the doom tower um, of course, Undead Hordes, Faction Wars, he's just great everywhere. He's a solid SS tier champion. He's definitely worth the bucks for this cooldown to be reduced. Only needs two bucks for this. So if you get lucky, you don't really need to book this. His A1, it's not really needed. So just two bucks and you're done. It's one of the few champions out there that does have this um, so much utility to the team with just two bucks. I don't know another legendary out there that just needs two bucks to become, you know, an SS tier carry. So it's Battle Khazar, guys. Battle Khazar, definitely worth it. He has an amazing league. Look at that, 25% crit rate. I mean, um, if you're thinking about pulling, then this is one of the biggest reasons. And then there's also another good reason, and it's going to be Altan. So Altan, although I do have Altan, I think I have two Altans, actually, guys. So it's it's very risky for my account to be pulling, although I do want to participate in these kind of events. Unfortunately, um, well... Fortunately for me, as a content creator, we get stuff from Plarium, but we get gems and we get chickens. And I'm at this point where I have too many chickens. I don't have champions that are worth it for me to actually put my resources in. I wish they would give us ancient shards instead or something. But uh, maybe the, the community would go crazy with that. Anyway, Alton, I've got two of them. He's a great champion. Attack down on his A1 at a 60% chance. This goes to 75% chance. You can actually increase it way more with masteries. Just so good. And then his A2, increase defense and a shield buff on all allies when you do get a kill. But the increased defense is great for the clan boss on a four turn cooldown. So uh, this wouldn't be so great, for example, my free to play account because this is like a four turn cooldown. And I also have Iron Brago who has it consistently because he's fully booked. And then he also has a revive. So um, when he does kill an enemy in the arena, for example, for much lower accounts, then he can be very annoying to, to deal with. So the the champions that are available from Ancient Shards compared to what we have with the Voids, I mean, I wouldn't touch my Voids. No way for this tank. Wouldn't buy any packs for Voids, but definitely for Ancient Shards, um, I would do it if I didn't have the champions that I already have on this account. So all the other champions that are available are uh, uh, truly, um, they're okay. I mean, Doom Priest is okay. Uh, she's great for Doom Tower. She goes so well with Sal of the Drakes. She does have that uh, way to remove debuffs on every time she takes a turn. So this this is what makes her great. She's another um, one of the OG champions in the game. But definitely, guys, um, I wouldn't be just pulling if I was looking for her. You're going to be pulling if you're looking for Battle, Khazar, Martyr, or Septimus. Well, and Altan. So all four of those legendaries are just so great. And then Vrask, if you do happen to get Vrask, don't worry, he is a great carry for Faction Wars. His, um, his attacks do some kind of healing to the whole team uh, based on his max HP when he inflicts a critical hit. So this is how I actually finished Faction Wars 21 with Rask. So overall, I think this, this 10x is one of the cooler ones because of the buy one, get one free. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it anything else because nobody is going to um, you know, do this kind of event without buying shards. I don't think... well. Okay, I shouldn't say that. It's not impossible to pull a legendary out of a single shard, but the odds are the majority will be buying packs if they do want to uh, ensure pulling a legendary. So they'll need at least 100 shards just to be safe, just to be to pick up one legendary. So for me, I've got 5,500 gems, and honestly, um, I, I just want to pull it to be always part of this kind of event. I didn't pull for Candace Licks, but um, I'm kind of regretting it in terms of having a bigger collection of champions so uh this was the video of today nothing too exciting other than that tuesday we do have a new fusion for that new dwarf that new dwarf will be so so great so don't go overboard with your shards because that fusion will definitely need you to participate in either a summoning event or a summoning tournament or both and you need to be uh, on the safe side in terms of having enough shards saved up for me, as a content creator, I don't really mind. I'll spend if I'm going to get that dwarf and I will get that dwarf. But also, guys, um, uh, I'm constantly getting sacred shards from Ultra Dynamic Clan Boss. So these definitely help when we do have those summoning events or summoning tournaments. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.